Jessica Klimkate becomes the first Canadian woman to win an Olympic medal in judo. The 24-year-old won bronze in the 57-kilogram event. Maggie McNeil also made history. She set a Canadian record for her time in the 100-meter butterfly, just 55.59. McNeil is also the first member of Team Canada to win a gold medal in Tokyo. It followed her silver medal in the 4x100 relay. Definitely hasn't set in. I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around the silver that we got in the relay yesterday because I thought that was so incredible. Uh, swimming with those girls was amazing. Uh, but I don't think this one is going to set in for quite a while. It turns out she wasn't shocked about her win while in the pool. She just didn't know she won. She doesn't wear her corrective lenses while swimming and couldn't see the scoreboard. Her lane mate was telling her she captured the goal. Jessica Klimkate, however, knew she was a winner. The 24-year-old clinched bronze in the sudden death situation against her opponent from Slovenia. Before heading to the game, she said she felt like she was in a good position to capture a medal. I owe a lot to you know my, my training partners and my coaches and my family and my friends. So I'm that's sort of, you know, the, the motivation that I'm bringing with me there. Both of Canada's flag bearers were in action. Rugby Sevens captain Nathan Hirayama got his team on the board right at the end of the first half. But in the end, Fiji came away with that win. Miranda Ayim and the women's basketball team took on Serbia in group match play. It was an intense game and the women battled back. Serbia prevailed 72-68. to one of the oddest sights of the game so far happened in the triathlon. Half of the competitors couldn't get into the water. A boat was blocking their way. A false start was declared and all of the athletes were rounded up and went back to the dock. Manitoba's Tyler Mislachuk finished 15th. He posted a thank you on his social media page to all of his supporters, saying he failed to reach a lifelong dream. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.